Well, sea turtles are very highly migratory, which is one of the reasons they're important indicators of the health of the world's oceans and coastal systems. They are born on land. As hatchlings, they circle around uh, the Atlantic, at least in this part of the world. There may be thousands of miles involved in that particular leg of their migration. And then they take up residency uh, near shore and spend you know, uh, perhaps a decade or more uh, in a place like this, where we're at now in Crystal River, Florida. And then they travel perhaps several hundred miles to an adult foraging site and take up residency there for another period of years. And then after that, every several years, every two or three years, they make these regular migrations back and forth from their adult foraging sites to their nesting sites. And throughout that process, they're almost constantly on the move. And it is that movement that we're studying here and learning about so that we can protect them wherever they are. It's one of the things we're trying to, to figure out is what do they do once they get to that almost adult stage? When do they leave and how do they travel? Where are they headed? Lots of really important questions for the protection of these animals. It's easy for us to monitor turtles on land and uh, observe them, uh, study them, but out in this marine environment, it gets really difficult to piece together all the different aspects of their lives, their physiology, um, what they're eating, how they're behaving. So this in-water type of research is really important to understanding, answering a lot of questions that we, we need to know to protect them. And this idea of migration, where they're traveling, at what times, is really critical to protecting every life phase of these animals.